Hello everybody, my name is Alan and you're watching Guns, Gear and Outdoors Alaska. Today we're gonna go put in some set lines fishing for burbot. So burbot's a pretty, they're a pretty cool fish. They're kind of a bottom feeder. They're really prehistoric looking and they're absolutely delicious. Probably one of the best tasting white meat fishes around. So before we head out to the river, let me show you the equipment we're gonna be using today. So we got some pretty standard ice fishing stuff here. Got an auger and our, our slush scooper here. We got a little shovel to clear snow off of the ice and also to pile the snow back onto the set line so it doesn't kind of limit the amount of refreezing we get later on. And we're going to be using two different kinds of sets today. Got a birch pole set where this thing just goes straight down into the hole at the bottom. You can see there's a loop on there. I'll explain how that works in a second. And we have these deeper water sets where this crossbar sits over the hole. And it's got some weights to take it down to the bottom. And then got a loop on the other end. So onto that loop, what we do is attach just a monofilament leader with a snap swivel on each end. So we'll attach one end to the set and one end to a baited hook with some herring on it. And we'll leave it out there overnight, come back the next day, see if we got any fish. So let's go get to it. All right, we made it out here. Took a little longer than I thought. We're losing daylight pretty fast. So I'm gonna try to get this uh, first set in where you guys can see. This looks like a good a spot as any. This here is just a little slough. I'm right at the mouth of this little slough that comes off the main channel of the river. And I've caught them in here before. So this should be a good spot. So let's get to it. So I'm not sure what to expect for ice thickness here, but I expected more snow cover out here to maybe insulate it. Hopefully the ice isn't too thick for my auger. That has happened before in this spot. So I'm gonna extend the sky all the way up. All right, now the hard part starts. Really hope this ice isn't too thick. Might have noticed I'm starting to shed some layers. It's about zero degrees outside, but this hand dog grin really warms you up. through. Didn't bottom out the auger. That's good news. Very nice. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use a regular set here instead of the birch pole, one of these guys. As you can see we got some lead weights on the end in this loop. I'm going to get a leader. Just going to attach one end to one of these loops. Some people like to put multiple lines and hooks on one set. I don't really like to do that because it kind of turns into a tangled up mess. And I've never caught two on one set before at the same time. So I have this little box and that's got my pre-baited hooks in it. This is nice because then you don't have to worry about messing around with uh, bait and hooks when you're out here in the cold. Go ahead, just snap swivel it on there. The burbot aren't really that shy. 
they don't mind all this tackle too much. And this is just a piece of herring from the bait store. So now we can carefully Got pretty heavy lead weights down there because this is a flowing body of water so that'll keep it right on the bottom and we'll just send that down all right so that's resting on the bottom wind it up and we want to try to keep the line as much in the middle of the set as we can or else it'll freeze to the sides and then you got to worry about cutting it while you're chipping out the hole the next day. That is one advantage of the pole set. But uh, let's step back and cover this with snow and I'll explain why we do that in a second. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mound snow up all around this hole now. It might seem kind of counterintuitive to cover this thing with snow. But snow is mostly air and it's a really good insulator. So if we get a good mound of snow up on there, the hole will still refreeze, but the ice layer won't be that thick when we come back the next day. Makes a huge difference. Otherwise it might, it'll freeze back really thick and be hard to chip out, especially without breaking that line. All right, there's our first set. Put in the flag to mark it. And, uh, We'll come back tomorrow. I'm gonna put in a few more, but it's getting a little dark for filming. So you guys get to skip right ahead tomorrow when we check these guys. Hopefully we have some luck. I'm definitely an amateur at this, so if you have any constructive criticism, if you're an experienced burbot set liner, I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions. You can throw those down below. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow when we come back to check the traps. All right, so it's about 20 hours after we put in the first set and I ended up doing three yesterday so now's for the fun part we get to check them it's a nice crisp day it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday so hopefully there's not too much ice to chip up got my ice chipper let's get to it Looks like our insulating snow layer really did its job. Not much chipping at all, that barely, barely refroze. Even though it was pretty cool last night. Get some of the slush clear. All right, moment of truth. That feels pretty good. All right, nice. All right guys, I don't know if you can see them. It's getting snow all over them, but we got a burbot. Give them a quick bonk with the set. Dispatch them humanely. That's a pretty small one, but pretty good. You get a lot of meat off of these, so. Awesome guys, let's go check the other ones. So one really nice thing about having these leaders with a snap swivel on each end is that after you catch a fish, and most of the time they swallow the hook pretty deep. So instead of worrying about trying to get that unhooked in the cold, just unsnap your snap swivel there. And since I got my bait already pre-hooked, ready to go. I can just put this on and reset the set. Maybe get another one tomorrow. But we still got two more to check, so let's go do it. This feels good too. Oh yeah, another one. Awesome, guys. Here we go. 
I think the the mottled color on these things is really cool. They got such a neat kind of camouflage pattern. Another kind of smallish one, but hey, we still got one more to check. Maybe we can be three for three. That's really good. I'm happy with this. Let's check one more. Oh, maybe not. Nope, nothing. All right, but two out of three ain't bad. I'll get this one reset and then I'll show you guys the fish up close. All right, so two out of three, not bad at all. They're kind of smallish ones, but these two together will make a huge meal just for me tonight. I like to beer batter them and fry them. It's a white meat fish. They're absolutely delicious. And you get three nice sized boneless uh, fillets from each fish, the two sides and the belly. Alaska Department of Fish and Game has a really good video on how to fillet them and stuff. So I'll put a link to that in the description and they have some other resources if this seems like something you want to do. It's pretty fun. I like it. It's not like regular fishing doesn't require a lot of patience. It's kind of more like trapping. You come out and you do the work and then you come out and check them. And as soon as you're done doing whatever you got to do, you can go. And you can get a pretty good, pretty good yield if you got a good spot and good technique. But yeah, two out of three for me. I'm happy with that. You can see, it's kind of hard to see the coloration on them because it's so frosty. But they got this. Some people say they're ugly, but I think they're kind of cool. Prehistoric looking, got this two fin tail, kind of like an eel. They are a freshwater species of cod. Got little teeth in the mouth, kind of eyes on the top of their head. Mottled green color. But yeah, I really like them. This is one of my favorite kind of fish to fish for in the winter ice fishing because I like the set line system. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you got any tips or comments or anything, make sure to leave those below. Like, subscribe if you think I deserve it. If you want to see more fishing videos, let me know. And if you think, oh, I don't really like the fishing videos, they're kind of boring, let me know that too. Just want to know what you guys are interested in. But yeah, two out of three, not bad. Have a good one.